<sighs> hey everyone, I'm on a road trip. I'm also sick. And welcome to New Orleans. So I've been on a road trip for about a week and a half. Um, I went from Ohio to Mississippi to New Orleans and now I'm in Florida and I'm attending a writers conference in about two days and I'm going to take you through some of my tips on how to have an epic road trip as a millennial traveler. Here we go. <laughs> Tip number one of road trip traveling. Make sure you have some cheap or free accommodation. Buy a tent. Buy a hammock, get a car that you can sleep in. These are the ways that you can travel cross country from place to place, really cheap. Um, I'm in this backyard, I'm in this tent, sleeping free. Maybe this is just a black people, I don't wanna be ashy, cheap tip, but um, if you are traveling and you are not going anywhere by plane, if you're on a road trip, one really good way to moisturize is to just buy a, a jar of coconut oil Use that every morning, every evening. Use it to moisturize really cheaply. That's one of my personal hacks for when I'm on a road trip, coconut oil. Another travel tip involves this thing right here. This is my trusty backpack that I take whenever I'm going on short to medium length trips. I consider a shorter trip to be anything from like two to three days to a medium length trip can be like a week, two weeks, three weeks. Um, I usually pack way too much clothes. I had to actually get rid of some clothes before I went on this trip. But in here, I have my electronics, I have my keys, my wallet, my external hard drive, underwear, socks, um, jacket, sweater, all of that stuff. So when you're going on a road trip, make sure you have a sturdy, um, like backpack that can stand the test of time, that can be water resistant. This one isn't, it's canvas, but really think about the kind of things that you're gonna be packing when you're going on a trip. Think about hygiene, toiletries, um, what clothes you can pack that can be used for numerous outfits. Um, I've gone from camping on this trip to a writer's conference that I'm gonna be doing in a few days. So keep that in mind when you're packing for a trip and make sure you get a good bag. I know you just saw me in a tent. Um, I was just in Gainesville, Florida. Now I'm in Tampa, Florida because this is actually where the Writers' Conference is. AWP 2018 starts tomorrow. It's gonna be my very first Writers' Conference, but I'm gonna get through the rest of these road trip tips for you because this is nearing the end of my road trip, so I kind of just wanna give you all of the things that I do to make my road trips as cool as possible. When you're on a road trip, one of the ways to cut costs is to bring food, um, buy nuts, buy um, non-perishable things, get things that are canned, um, buy stuff that you can just kind of pull out of a wrapper and eat in the morning. Do that and you can travel a little bit cheaper. About two or three years ago, I went on a road trip with my really good buddy, Eli Hiller. We did another, we've done another YouTube channel together called Two Oak Minds. I'm gonna put it up here, check it out. But we basically traveled from Ohio all the way across the US to California. And all along the way, we stopped in places that we knew people. That way you can get the local perspective. You know where people go to hang out. You can sort of like drop into someone's life and really get to understand what the culture is like in that place. For example, I was just in New Orleans for a few days. I crashed at my friend's place. I got to go to a birthday party at this awesome punk inspired space. Um, I got to hang out and drink daiquiris and also do laundry while I was drinking daiquiris. So really when you're traveling, one of the most important things that you can do is connect with people that live in the place that you are visiting so you can get that more authentic, personal, sort of exciting perspective of a, of a new place that is I don't know, unique. Another travel tip, and maybe this is just something for road trips or traveling in general, but before you go on your trip, if you're traveling with other people, figure out how you're going to divide your costs. Are you going to split every tank of gas? Are you gonna buy every other tank of gas? How are you splitting food? How are you splitting your accommodations? How are you gonna decide what kind of things you wanna do? If you don't wanna go skydiving and your travel partner does, um, communication is a really big part of traveling effectively. And also making sure that whatever trip you decide to take, you can be open and honest with whoever you're traveling with. This is another travel tip that's kind of something that I like to do whenever I go anywhere. Let me know in the comments below if you do this as well, but use Tinder as a way to meet cool new people while you're traveling. Yes, I know that Tinder is mostly about dating, but also when I've traveled to other places, I've gone on great, great, great Tinder dates that have also just been people that ended up being friends. 
One example is when I was on that road trip two or three years ago with my buddy Eli, we stopped in, I think it was San Diego, California, and we stayed in an Airbnb. I swiped, swiped, swiped on Tinder. I ended up matching with this person who is POC in a lot of the punk scene, queer scene in San Diego. And we went to a beach and drank 40 ounces and climbed down these beach cliffs and went swimming in the water. And it was just one of those really movie-esque moments while you're traveling where you think, if I hadn't have swiped right on this person or if I hadn't have met up with this person from Instagram, I wouldn't be in this moment right now. And I think for me, the magic of traveling is kind of that sort of feeling that if you weren't in that place sort of taking those opportunities doing the unexpected you would not be exploring life as fully as you could and my last road trip travel tip is be flexible have a loose schedule on hand have an idea of how many days you want to spend in certain places but also be open to going to a show that someone mentions to you that you didn't know about before be open to staying somewhere a few more days or a few fewer days be open to going to that uh, strange sounding community event that you've never heard of malleability and flexibility is a really good way to sort of be open while you're traveling because really discomfort is a part of the process um sort of putting yourself out there is a part of the process and road trips are a really amazing way to kind of see a lot of places so those are my road trip tips please subscribe to this channel to support me and my travel and my journeys i will be doing a lot more traveling over the next few weeks and months and i will pretty soon be leaving the country so there will be a lot more content going on internationally and let me know what kind of things you want to see on this channel because i'm always excited about youtube it is a lot of work and I'm really trying to make this fun and engaging and really a cool experience for both of us. So thank you for watching and see y'all later.